Hey, how's it going? My name is John. This is Homesteads and Gear. We're out here on the homestead. I want to talk to you guys about getting out of the city. It's time. It's time to get ready, guys. You need to do whatever you could do. Try to get out of the city. Try to get yourself a place set up that's away from people. All right. I live out here on the homestead. I understand not everyone can do this, but I'm going to at least take you guys with me on this journey and try to show you how to live like this. It's not always easy, and it's definitely not as comfortable as you're probably used to. But I'm going to try to show you ways to make it more comfortable and livable, and that way you can at least begin to develop an idea of how to live in case society collapses, all right? I'm gonna to try to tell you some of the things that you actually use and some of the things that you don't really need, all right? I'm out here on the homestead. This is a 10 acre piece of property. I don't have any city power, all right? I use a generator for power and I don't have any running water. I am on the East Coast and it does rain a lot where I'm at. I actually grew up out in California, out in Northern California, around the Sacramento area. But I live on the East Coast now, so I've had a chance to see both sides of the United States, and we'll talk about that. I'll try to explain what the best places are to homestead in the United States. You can pretty much find a place to homestead, though, anywhere in the United States, all right? The main thing is, is that you just try to fix your situation to wherever it is that you choose to live, and I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to show you some ways to do that. All right, I'm staying in this house. I built this house right here. This is approximately 250 square feet. All right, this is a 12 by 24 house that I built. All right, like I said, I mean, it doesn't have a whole lot of what normal society would consider comforts, but it's got enough, right? It's got enough to stay alive and it's got enough to make it, so. And making it, sometimes making it is enough. You know, you don't always have to be completely comfortable. Society, I don't, you know, society is absolutely getting out of control, okay? It seems like we're on the, basically on the precipice of some sort of collapse. I don't know. I can't tell you exactly how or when, but what I can tell you is that I personally am trying to prepare and I recommend that you do what you can to prepare, okay? It may not be quite this extreme, but at least begin to start to get ready, start to stockpile food, water, medicine, and those types of things, maybe some medical supplies, okay? So, but we're gonna talk about all that. I'm gonna take you on this journey and it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be interesting. Definitely click like and subscribe if you would and come back and see us again. I'm going to be putting out videos. I'm going to try to put out at least two videos a week. So definitely, um, definitely leave comments if you want to see videos about certain things like water purification, how to cook and, you know, and those type of things. I'm going to make those videos either way. But if you want to see specific videos, definitely leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. And hopefully we'll see you again, all right? Have a nice day.